So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose two sheets of film, x-ray, and one of them will get developed in uh, D23, 1 to 2, what I normally do, and the other one will get Extol R, which I did previously um, on 14 by 17, and I really liked it. So I was going to see if there's much of a difference between the two developers. Take a meter reading from here. It's very dark. I'll place it on zone three. a tree I will come back again soon I promise in the dark room dance they stand apart sharpens the edges of art crystalline detail with a fine tune and here is the x doll it's a little bit fogged here that's because i accidentally opened or turned the light on when i had the box open uh, a few weeks back Ooh. Here we go. This is the D23 negative. Actually, I diluted the D23 one to one. Two developers, both great in their own right. One sharp as a needle, the other soft as the night. Do I choose the clarity, the crisp and the clear, or the smooth, quiet beauty? that lingers near in this darkening dilemma i cannot decide x total d23 which one to a body i cream smooth as silk like a whispered song a gentle embrace where the tones belong do i choose the longer gels where the tones belong do I choose the clarity, the crisp and the clear, or the smooth, quiet beauty that lingers near? In this dark room dilemma, I cannot decide. Next over D23, which one to abide? Do I choose the long with gels? Do I choose the clarity? Oh, the smooth, quiet beauty that lingers here In this dark room dilemma, I cannot decide x doll or D23, which one to a body I cling through the silk like a whispered song A gentle embrace where the tones belong do I choose the longer gels? Do I choose the clarity? The crisp and the clear All the smooth, quiet beauty that lingers near In this dark room dilemma I cannot decide X door D23 Which one to abide? 